Um, we're here on the day is, um, what day is it today? The 17th of April. 19... Uh, 83. 1991, and, um, first of all, who, who are you? Sonic fucking youth. Sonic youth, the rock band Sonic youth. No, individually, you need a longer individually, longer individually, what is Sonic youth? Like, what are the individual members of the name Sonic youth? Of the, of the individual, the names of individual members of the rock group Sonic youth? Thurston. Thurston, point to Thurston. <laughs> Say hi, Thurston. Hi. And next we have... Am I being wrong going to you, Kim? Are you the songstress? Are you like the group spokesman? Group spokeswoman? That's wrong for me to go to you. Oh, well, I am the so only woman in the group. But it's good for me to ask for your introduction. And who are they? Okay, now who is that gentleman right there with the desert stormish type stuff? Yeah, these are desert storm cards. Um, Jack Kerouac. Why does he deserve to be here? Uh, That's right, man. He's on, he's on the road. In, in all seriousness, your name is? Jack. Jack. Can you give me more of that ass that I saw you taking earlier? Well, actually, we'll get to that um, right down the thing. Why, Thurston? Me and Dean were on Venice Beach in 47. Why? Why? Why did you start a band in 19... When did you start the band? I didn't start the band. Oh, I'm sorry. The band started me. To a leader. Okay, why did the band begin when Johnny Rotten said that punk rock was dead in 1978? Who's Johnny Rotten? That guy, Johnny Rotten. I don't know anything about him. Well, okay, well, how about... He was just talking about how punk rock fashion was dead. Oh, okay. Is Sonic Youth a logical extension of, yes, Gentle Giant and King Crimson? Yes. Get fucked! <laughs> Why Why did um, Sonic Youth move to New York? Why did Sonic Youth move to New York when bands like your favorite band, The Cramps, moved away from New York? <laughs> I don't live in New York. No, why did they? Why did... Did Sonic Youth... Is it wrong for me to assume Sonic Youth moved to New York? Yes. Okay. So it's an often misquoted rumor that I help perpetuate right now. You yes. Help you help perpetuate. Help perpetuate. So what was the story then? What happened with Sonic Youth? You know Joey Shithead... Joe Shithead from the rock and roll group DOA, a local lo local legend, yeah, along with a lot of other legends. Benefit for him once. That, so this is some early this is some early history of Sonic Youth. We did a benefit for um, the the bass player in the Subhuman. Brian Goble. Yeah. I, I, no, sorry, sorry. That was uh, Jerry Hanna. Yeah, Jerry, yeah, Hanna, Jerry yeah. Useless, I think his name. Jerry was. Useless, yeah. yeah. That was part of Squad. When was that, and where was that? That was about '83. Two. 82 or 83, it was when, you know, the Vancouver Five. Uh -huh. Was that in Vancouver? Was that in Vancouver that, that that benefit happened? No, that was in a little town called Five. A little town called Five? Yeah. Uh, where is Five? It's right next to Six. But where's Seven? You know why, um... Seven you, is in heaven. You know why, uh, Six, Eight, Seven? Six, Eight, Seven? The Fibonacci number? Do you know why Six, Eight, Seven? <laughs> nice try, dude. Do you know why Six, Eight, Seven? Six, Eight, Seven. Six, Eight, Seven. Do you know why oh, Six, Eight, Seven? No, no, I don't know why Six, Eight, Seven. Because Seven, Eight, Nine. <laughs> Did you name the band? Who named the band, first off? Jesus? What is the name? Like I, when I first saw the name Sonic Youth, I thought, I thought the name Sonic Youth was because, like, I liked the rock and roll band the Sonics from Tacoma, Washington, and I thought you were like disciples of the Sonics. How about that? Wrong again. Completely wrong. Yeah. But I was able to assemble a few things that I. Oh, also, um, in record stores, at, um, Sonic Youth. Do you know who you filed nearby? Uh, please. Fred Sonic Smith. Susie and the Beatles. Springsteen. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Suck Dog. Wrong. Patty Smith. Beatles. Uh, Maybe. And, uh, Carpenters. Slam and Watusis. Well, no, right now in Vancouver record stores. No, tell me, how is this reaction in Vancouver record stores? Are you guys getting um, filed between the Sneetches? Ever heard of the Sneetches? Yeah. SNFU? SNFU? Some Velvet Sidewalk? How can we be filed between all of those? Spider Baby, the Straw Dogs, and Iggy. Well, of course, you always say the word Iggy, so I'm not going to say that again. But there also is the Untamed Youth. There also is the Wasted um, People in Vancouver. <laughs> wasted Youth. There also is the Young Youth. There also is the Youth. There's the Youth of the Future. There's the Reagan. Did you ever hear Youth, Youth, Youth? Use, use, use. A no, Canadian it's a band, Canadian punk band, man. Get a hold of your roots and fucking pull them up and sniff them and smoke them. The Violetones. 
Yeah, the screaming fist. The vile tones, um, uh, the Na- diodes. I saw Nazi dog kill himself in that. Do you have the 1979 History of Punk Rock issue of Bomb? That's the main question here. Actually, who am I speaking to? Sid. Sid of the rock group. Sex Pistols. In Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, at the Coliseum here. In Vancouver, British, this is the Coliseum. They're playing with Neil Young, right in the Buffalo Springfield van. But actually, I was wondering, are there any cool Sonic Youth clone bands around? Are there any cool Sonic Youth clone bands? Um, let's see. Led Zeppelin, The Who, Beatles. Yeah. Come on, think hard. Think hard. Kim, are there any special Sonic Youth clone bands? Uh, Neil Young. Neil Young, come on, think harder, think harder. I'll reach into my bag of tricks and I will pull out, I will pull out a bag of tricks. And have you seen this? Have you seen the Spoo EP? Uh, well, have you seen the Spoo EP? Yeah, we put that out. Now, what was your reaction to the Spoo? This is Prison Shakes. Hey, come on. Prison, hey, hey, hey be careful. Be careful. That is on the, hey, hey, pal, that's on the Estress Cross Club from Bellingham, Washington. Dave Kreider, Estress Records, Prison Shake from Cleveland. Hey, you can't, you, you can't do, they listen, they are helping you with that record. Uh, but what is your reaction? Is that, was I, is that a, is that a Sonic Youth clone band? I don't know what you're talking about. That's it. Look, you don't know what that is? You've never no. seen that before? Never well, then let him see it. See, look at that. This, this Spoo, this Spoo EP. It's a fucking weird picture. How does Daniel Johnson fit into all this? Like a square in a, in a round hole. Daniel Johnson, is he not a logical descendant? Is he not in any way associated with the Sonic Youth team? He's a freak. He's a freak? <laughs> but he's, a, he's an important freak, though, isn't he? That kills me. Yeah, he's just a guy who's like a singer-songwriter, man. Did somebody from surgery refer to Sonic Youth, Sonic Youth as Agro Rock? Agro, what did they mean by that? Agro Rock. That means we're interested in, in things of a botanical concern. Was that a nice thing of him to say? Yes. Do you remember the quote? Oh, yeah. Our surgery a fun rockin' band? Oh, yeah. Would you like them to open for you more than driving and crying here tonight on the Neil Young tour? Oh, no, I love driving and crying. They're the best. They shred. Driving and crying are the best thing about the whole evening, so, you know. They're your sound check, driving yeah. and crying. Come early and, and leave and, early. And,